Regal's EMI measurement application provides a complete EMI pre-compliance solution with scans, peak tests, limits, and multiple simultaneous CISPR detectors. With the EMI measurement mode, engineers compare, analyze, and report on EMI issues throughout their design process. The EMI measurement application is a new post-purchase upgrade option available on the RSA 3000 and the RSA 5000 real-time spectrum analyzers. Both of these real-time spectrum analyzers come standard with swept mode and real-time mode. Now we've added a third mode, the EMI measurement application mode. Let's take a quick look around, familiarize ourselves with some of the capabilities, some of the terminology we use in EMI measurement application. Once we're in EMI, we see this scan region here. So this is our, in this way, configured as a log scan, scan from left to right of frequency, for our EMI test. At the bottom, we have our search table, a signal table. This signal table picks out peaks and peaks versus the limit lines as areas of further interest for further study. And on the right side, we have this measurement bar. These are called meters or measurements. Here we can do live measurements at a peak or at the marker to really give yourself a capability for feedback, uh, real-time feedback, in terms of debugging and looking at signals of interest. Here in the mode setup is one of the first areas we look. You can set CISPR or the regular detectors. Here you can also configure the meters. These are the three meters here. We've pre-configured them really for a peak detector, a quasi-peak detector, and a CISPR average detector. That really gives us the ability to, to look at three different ways where these signals might look to us in an actual compliance test. Now we can go over to the measurement setup. Measurement setup is where you set limits. Here we've activated one limit line that, that I made just custom for this test. You can use multiple limits against multiple traces. You also set the signal table values here. Here we have it set up to make 50 different signals, but using both the peak criteria and the limit lines. You also have a signal zoom capability here. When we find a signal, we can go ahead and zoom in on it. The scan table is where you really configure the subregions of your scan. It's a critical area to make sure you're optimizing your setup for, for fast measurements in EMI pre-compliance mode. You set a different RBW, attenuator, preamp setting for each of your spans. Usually we let the scan time auto set to what's required for that RBW setting over that span. We can also set the traces here. Here we're going to use one trace and use the positive peak. But additional traces are, are possible, including using quasi-peak and CISPR average detectors. In this mode, I like to use the peak measurement uh, for a trace, and then go ahead and, and use all the detectors in the measurement mode at the end. And the scan sequence is sort of the critical operation area. You can do scans, you can search for signals in the signal table, you can do measurements, or you can do all of them together. Here we're going to do a little bit of everything. And to start that, we go to the sweep menu. So here when I hit start, it scans, looks at peaks against those limit lines and against uh, the peak, peak detector areas. And then, again, we've highlighted our, our key area, one of our key areas here at about 375 megahertz, which we know is a harmonic coming off of our test device. And we're able to do real-time measurements on multiple detectors of that exact frequency. All combined, scans, signal tables, measurements, as well as the ability to save and archive both as data, setups, and test reports, really makes the EMI measurement application a complete solution for pre-compliance testing with a real-time spectrum analyzer from Regal.